In this video, there seems to be some questions of how can I make it look as if the wolf hands is overlapping on this part here and then still hide the body at that area over there. So let's recreate this. I'm going to actually make a rectangle frame. I'm going to draw it out. Now before I even did that, if you can tell, underneath I've locked everything. This image is locked this is locked, everything's locked. I drew out a frame. I'm going to file and place, and we're going to that wolf pose. It's a PNG, that's why we have a transparent background. And hit OK. Now it's really big inside that rectangle or square I've made. Right click, change that to fit content proportionally. Now I still need to resize it a little bit, so I know I'm going to pretty much bring it down to here. And while I have it selected, I'm going to hold down the shift and the command, and at the corner of that, I'm going to, while I'm holding shift and command, drag out, and it enlarge the frame along with the size of the image. All I need to do is select the frame, and then it makes that bottom half disappear. So let's just go all the way up to here. The area part of where we're confused at is that you wonder how am I going to bring back those hands. Well the frame is just like any other rectangle. It has four anchor points in each corner. So for the easiest way is to add, go to the pen tool, and add more anchor points so you could actually manipulate and move things around. So I'm going to click here for one anchor point. I'm going to add one right there. And I guess I'm going to just put one right over here just in case. And I'm going to go to the direct select tool. And then now I can actually click on and select that one anchor point. And I could do the same thing with this one here too. And this one. So the frame could be really any size. We talked about how it's just a window and allowing you to only see what you want it to see. So let's zoom in a little bit more. So from adding more anchor points, as you can see, I'm able to change the shape of the frame to expose that arm and still hide that part of the body here. Now for the overlapping with the ear, you know, again, you need to open up that frame and then the image needs to be larger. So I'm just going to increase just the image inside the frame. And because we paste it on top of everything it is going to be on top. And then I could also resize this again and then grab that bottom half of the frame so that's all it is, it's just tweaking it slightly to reveal what you want to see and what you do not want to see. And that's how I created the wolf on this page. 